anything in life can lead us to, to feeling suicidal. Um, you know, when, when we look at just, just life in general, the stress, the struggle that it can bring, financial difficulties, relationship difficulties, um, work, and I think that's the really scary thing about it is that, that so many things can affect us. So many things can make us feel that we might not want to be here anymore. I think some people can experience really, really heavy, strong and consistent thoughts of wanting to end their life, of, of not wanting to be here anymore, of, of wanting to die. Um, whereas others may think, I just, I don't think I can be here anymore. Um, I feel like I'm a burden. And even when we have those fleeting thoughts, it can then leave us questioning, what's wrong with me? Why do I feel like this? Why did I think that? Am I the only person? It's a really, really scary place. And it can be an overwhelming place. And I think a lot of people don't realise how much guilt and shame and anger, frustration can come with feeling like that. Because a lot of the time as well, don't, might not know why we feel this way. For me, I looked around and think, I've got a young family got a house, I've, I've got more than most, and I'm extremely lucky to have all of this. But for me, at the time, it just didn't feel like that. All I could see was the, the, the bad in life. All I could see was no way of getting out of all these other situations. I used to go around thinking, what would happen if I wasn't here? Would anybody miss me? Would it be better if I wasn't alive anymore? Um, would my family be better off without me? Would, um, you know, would they have a better life if I wasn't here? Am I bringing them down? All of these kind of sort of self-doubt thoughts where you think to yourself, life would be better if you weren't around. I was going to work, coming home from work in tears. I'd be crying in my car, not knowing why. Um, I'd be wanting to go to bed early just so I didn't have to be awake with my thoughts anymore, but then not wanting to wake up in the morning until finally one day I was on the phone to, to my wife and I was in absolute tears in the car. I, I pulled up near work and I was paralysed in the car. I couldn't get out of my car um, and I just didn't want to be here anymore. I've left it for so long that those feelings have started to become normal. I, uh, that, that just felt like who I was and if this is how I was going to feel for the rest of my life I don't think I can do that I wish, wish, wish that I'd just been a bit more susceptible to reaching out for help leaving the pride at the door and saying, do you know what, I, I need help when, when someone gives you that opportunity to vocalise and say, actually, yes, this is how I've been feeling it can feel, it, the release is, is incredible I got to a point where, you know, following, like, for example, Corner Samaritans, reaching out to other support and taking time off work, um, managed to start to work back up. I felt like I was at the bottom, but I still think there was a bit of a way to go. And I think had I not have reached out, then that would have been, you know, I would have just carried on going down those steps. One of the things that, that you hear sometimes is that it's only temporary. It's only temporary. It's not going to last. But there's people out there where this doesn't feel temporary. This is, they've been feeling this way for such a long time that this has now become how they're feeling. And this is almost a permanent feeling. Um, but there's, it's never too late to reach out. So what I'm not going to do is say, you know, don't worry, it's only temporary. You're not going to feel like this forever. What I am going to say is if you are feeling like this, it doesn't matter how far on, you know, where you are, how long you've been feeling like this for, what's going on for you, there's someone there. We all have emotions, we all have feelings, we all have things that affect us in different ways and therefore we're all susceptible to having um, suicidal feelings. Sometimes it, we will wake up and we will feel bad, we'll feel low and it's about recognising that and knowing the steps of what you need to do to try and get yourself from that place to a better place. Whatever that better place is, it might just be getting out of bed. That might be a better place, great. It might be going for a run, brilliant, you know, whatever that better place is.